So looking at the login, you can already tell that it's a little different logging in. And now there's a verification. You actually, when you log in, you have to have verify through a website. And that's just to help us with our universal login. So now when you log into Xactimate, it'll also make it so you don't have to go and log into all our different applications separately. It all just happens all at once. So that's pretty cool. And so as you can see, the control center is a lot different. Here on the left side, you've got your local and cloud on the top. And that's just the local is are the projects you have actually on your computer's hard drive and you can um, work with them on or offline. The cloud is where you can store projects and you can send projects up to the cloud and then access them anywhere on any device that has access to that cloud. And then you've also got your preferences, tools and help, just easy access here. And then on the right, um, you've got all these different icons. I won't go through every single one, but put your mouse over each one of those icons and see what they, they do for you. It's just, it's the same things you had in 28, just a kind of different look and feel. So right from the beginning, you can already see that in a project, it looks different and the same at the same time compared to 28. So in 28, um, you still have the same general layout of the functionality. The actual data entry looks a lot the same. It's just organized a little differently. So instead of being on the top with the claim info and the uh, estimate items and all that kind of stuff, on the side, it's organized where you have claim info. And then if you click on estimate, that's where you can get sketch and then estimate items. After that is where you upload photos and documents. The required is basically the, it replaces the completed tab. And then tools gives you your preferences for that individual project. Inside tools, you've got some other options here. You've got uh, video collaboration, which uh, that syncs up with claim experience. Um, you've also got your vendor exchange. If you click on that, you can see that um, it's our third party uh, access to our vendors. You've got your underwriting checklist, payment tracker, uh, copy from pod project, so that's how you can copy from another project. And then the work order is down at the bottom. And then you can see down at the very bottom now, you have your save and exit. It's down at the bottom left instead of the upper right. Those are the biggest changes from Xactimate 28 to the newest version. Um, as you can tell, it's actually still very similar. I mean, even looking here in Sketch, all the same tools and options, the same general layout. Um, so if you are a veteran to Xactimate, you'll still feel right at home. Hopefully this helps you um, just understand the differences and, and make that transition easier for you.